Hello candidates, how are you? I would like to tell you a, a new policy details. It's like breaking a news, breaking news. And it's about Jeevan Amar. Whatever we are now discussing will be useful for LIC AAO interview and also for SBI clerks main examination. Plus those who are attending IDBI interview also, they can use this information whenever a question comes about LIC. LIC launches a much awaited cheaper term plan that is known as Jeevan Amar. Let us know the features and eligibility. Jeevan Amar is much cheaper than its just withdrawn Amulya Jeevan plan, but it is also more flexible and has much wider features. It seems that LIC has withdrawn a scheme known as Amulya Jeevan plan. The premium amount of LIC's Jeevan Amar plan will be different for male and female as well as for smokers and non-smokers. That means, see, uh, male will pay a higher premium than female. Smokers will pay a higher premium than non-smokers. I'm telling in detail about this Jeevan Amar because in LIC interview, whether they ask or not, you can try to bring this point and tell them uh, this policy Jeevan Amar is without profit plan and is also a non-linked plan. It is not linked to any uh, other things, which means the plan is not market linked and there will be no maturity value and only a death claim will be payable to the nominee in case of unfortunate demise of the life assured during the policy term provided the policy is in force that means if the person who has died has been keeping the policy in force by making payment of the premiums the minimum policy term of jeevan amar plan is 10 years i mean you can take it for 10 years and the maximum term is 40 years while minimum entry is 18 years completed and the maximum entry age is prescribed as 65 years as on last birthday. But the maximum cover ceasing age is 80 years. That is the LIC will be taking up, supposing somebody takes a policy at um, say 39 years, you'll be asked to take for 40 years and it will come to an end in 79 years so that is what it is so these are the important points minimum policy term is 10 years maximum term is 40 years minimum entry age 18 years and the maximum entry age is 65 years maximum cover will be ceasing uh, at, at the age is 80 years in the case of Jeevan Amar, there, they have also introduced one point. There will also be flexibility to choose some assured as either level some assured or increasing some assured. Level some assured means it will not increase. If level SA is chosen, the death benefit will remain at the same level throughout the policy term. While in the case of increasing, say, SA, that is some assured uh, death benefit will rem will remain at the same level during the first five policy years but will increase by 10 percent of basic sum assured every year for the next 15 years and at the end of the policy term whichever is earlier then and then will remain static at that level for the remaining policy term However, the increased uh, sum assured cannot be more than double the BSA. That means 
if somebody has taken initially some assured as 10 lakhs the increased um, say some assured cannot exceed 20 lakhs one interesting feature about this policy is minimum sum assured basic sum assured may be opted for under this plan is 25 lakh and there is no maximum limit but the maximum cover limit will depend upon a person's age and income level basic sum assured may be opted in multiple of rupees 1 lakh up to rupees 40 lakh that is 25 to 40 lakh when you go you can go in multiples of 1 lakh and thereafter in multiples of 10 lakhs after 40 lakhs it will be 50 lakh 60 lakh 70 lakh etc there will be three options to pay premium single premium a regular premium and limited premium under limited premium the two options of premium paying term are five years less than the policy term and 10 years less than the policy term however the maximum premium ceasing age will be 10 years that is they are telling that um, one can stop paying the premium uh, and thereafter continue to enjoy the life cover for that they have given under limited premium the two options of premium pay paying term five years less than the policy term if the policy term is 30 years then sorry 25 years then it can come down by five years and 10 years than the policy term so it can be policy term maximum given is 40 so it can be 35 or 30 years also thereafter for five or 10 years the uh, insured can enjoy the insurance coverage another important feature is that no surrender value will be available under regular premium option but it will be available under single premium and limited premium options subject to some terms and conditions at the inception of a life a life proposed has to choose smoke or non-smoker category and a person who selects non-smoker category has to undergo an extra urine con urine cotinine test that is a person if he chooses a policy known as non-smoker category where the premium will be less he has to undergo a urine cotinine test which will tell whether you are a smoker or not the minimum installment premium will be rupees 3000 under regular income regular and limited premium options while under single premium option the minimum installment premium will be rupees 30,000. So this is the point you can know. Minimum installment premium will be rupees 3,000 under regular and limited premium options. While under single premium option, the minimum installment premium will be rupees 30,000. So you have to remember. Yes, this table gives us LIC G1 Amar sample premium policy term if it is 10 years then sum assured is one 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 crore and the mode is yearly category is non-smoker option one is level sum assured that is you are not going to increase the sum assured if the person's entry age is 20 he has to pay 8,080 rupees male. If it is a female, 7,760. If it is a say per month, male 673, female 647. If the entry age is say 30 years, for male, the yearly premium is 9,280 female 8720 if it is monthly male 773 female 727 
the entry age is 40 male yearly premium 16065 female 13260 male will be paying 1339 and female will be paying 1105 per month Candidates, you may be thinking why I am showing more interest or why am I talking in detail about this scheme? It's because this has been introduced just recently. So I thought I must tell you the details about this new scheme. So you can go through the details of this policy once again. And also say uh, like this similar policies or some other interesting policies in LIC's policies. I have already posted a video LIC policy a few details you can go through that this one I have taken from financialexpress.com the link I have given here in this video itself best wishes thank you